Today, we're going to guide you through the process of attaching a photo to an email on your iPad. Whether you're using Apple's Mail app or Gmail, we'll cover everything you need to know. Let's dive in. First, it's important to note that the process can vary depending on um, the, the email client you're using. You might have a preference for different apps, and that's perfectly fine. The first option we'll discuss is the regular Mail app from Apple, the official blue icon app. To start, open the mail app and begin composing a new email. Click on the text field for your message and you'll notice a button for the camera and attaching photos. Simply click this button to proceed. This will embed the photo directly into the text of your email rather than attaching it as a separate file. If you tap on the photo, you'll see a few options. One of these options is attach file, which opens up the files app. If your photos are stored there, you're all set. If not, continue watching as we explore other methods. For those using the Gmail app, a similar process occurs. However, when you embed a picture and then tap on it, you can convert it into an attachment, which is often more convenient. Additionally, you can share photos to mail directly from your gallery. Let's break down how this works for different scenarios. If you're selecting one picture in Apple Photos and using the share to feature via Gmail, um, you'll end up with a message containing one embedded picture. This means the picture will appear within the body of the email rather than as an attachment. When selecting two or more pictures in Apple Photos and sharing via Gmail, you'll get a message with the pictures attached. These attached files are around 3 MIB each and larger files will be compressed. Sharing one or more pictures via the Mail app from Apple Photos results in an embedded image as well. The Mail app allows you to choose between different file sizes, including the original size. The process is similar when using Google Photos. Sharing one picture to Gmail results in an embedded image. Sharing two or more pictures yields attached files using the local copies of your Google Photos. If you choose to share one or more pictures from Google Photos via the Mail app, you'll again see the images embedded within your email with options to select different file sizes. In summary, knowing these specifics helps you decide how to best include photos in your emails. Whether they appear inline or as attachments can make a difference depending on your needs. Thanks for watching this tutorial on Foxtech. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Peace.